All right, guys, thank y'all so much for joining me today on Instinctive Addiction Archery. I'm Jeff Phillips. This is probably going to be the best video I've ever produced. And I'll tell you why, guys, because I have developed a real, real test. People ask me all the time about arrow trajectory, arrow weight, heavy versus light arrows. What, what, do, what can I expect? What's the trade-off? going from a light arrow to a heavy arrow guys lord willing i'm going to answer this once and for all for the world to see i honestly believe in all my heart with this system that i have set up right here that there will be a 1000 percent no dispute true nature true trajectory of different arrow weights out of the same bow shooting out of a mechanical shooting machine that shoots hole for hole okay i've got it dialed in it's just like setting a sight this thing is like pinpoint accuracy we are at 25 yards so the reason that i'm doing this test is to show you guys okay what can you expect when you're planning on doing an arrow build for a certain weight bow today's bow 45 pounds on the head and i don't mean 45.2 or 3 i mean 45 pounds i've got it marked with this little 58 inch recurve draws exactly 45 pounds at 28 inches okay i'm going to start with a 450 grain arrow i'm going to shoot two of these back to back to show you guys the calibration first how accurate this is the bow does not move it shoots the same every single time so when we start loading heavier arrows into this thing, and we're gonna go arrow by arrow, heavier to heavier to heavier, to show you guys what kind of drop at 25 yards you can truly expect out of the same exact draw, same exact bow, same exact weight, how much do you really give up going to a heavy arrow? We're gonna see today, guys, stick with us. This is gonna be cool. First thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna load these pink arrows are my 450 grain arrows. I'm gonna shoot two of them to show you guys. I have a dot there calibrated where it is, it's the arrow is actually hitting this dot at 25 yards. I'm gonna shoot two of them to show you guys, first of all, where these hit because they are the lightest that I have for this bow. 10 grains per pound, exactly 10 grains per pound. And I mean, guys, when I weigh them up here on my scale, they're not even off. It's hard to get an arrow to come out that exact sometimes, but they did. They are 450.1 grains, okay? So 450 grain arrow. I'm gonna load this up as soon as my dog gets out of the way. He always does that. Come here, get out of the way. Every time he does this stuff. I think he does it for attention. He's old, he's 13 years old and he always pees on my target. He has been doing that all his life. Come here. But we're gonna shoot two of these arrows to show you guys what's up. That it's hitting where it's supposed to hit. And then you will see the natural drop. inches 45 pounds you guys see it's in the little piece of tape that's a one inch piece of tape at 25 yards the arrow is in the tape okay dialed in all right so we have a second arrow just like it to show you guys again it's probably going to hit the arrow because this thing will shoot hole for hole touch okay both arrows inside of a one inch piece of paper uh piece of tape 25 yards 
That is the accuracy of this machine that I built here, okay? It's dead on. Bow does not move, it shoots the same every time, okay? It's something you cannot duplicate yourself. You cannot, okay? Let the testing begin. 450 grain arrows. Okay, so they're dialed in, they're, they're in there. 10 grains per pound, we know what they're doing. All right, guys, so the machine is calibrated. Both pink arrows, 450 grains, they're touching, they're both in that little piece of tape. Okay, so the machine is set, it's calibrated. It's time to go up in some weight and see what do we really give up with arrow weight. How much? What's the trade-off? Let's see, guys. This is going to be fun. Lord willing, we're going to find out. All right. Let's see. Let the fun begin. <laughs> Exactly, 28 inches. Fire in the hole. That much. I guarantee it's less than an inch. It ain't, it ain't even an inch. It ain't even a half an inch. Not even a half inch, I wouldn't think. Don't believe it is. Okay. So, 450 to 500 grains, almost nothing. Nothing, nothing. It's going up. This one here, at least 50 grains heavier. That one was 506 grains. This one, my friends, is 545, 546. Okay, so we're going up 40 grains. 546 grain arrow, okay? 546. Should be a little drop on this. We should see some difference. Good. But we'll see. Dead on 28. Fire in the hole. It almost hit the other arrow. Okay, they're almost touching. So, hmm, getting interesting. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, fellas. If we were to go no further in this test, I'm already seeing there is almost zero difference going from a 450 to a 550. I mean, going up 100 grains from a really light arrow to right at a 550 grain arrow at 25 yards not even dropping not not even noticeable but we may really see it now because we're going up to 650 let's go up an entire hundred grains a whole hundred grains guys i'll show you this 650 on the head there she is 650 oh, 650 grain air What's this big thing gonna do? It might drop a foot for all I know. Couldn't tell you, but we'll see. Okay. And it is dead in line with these others. I mean, this thing is calibrated. Okay, so we we dropped maybe two inches. We're going to go up and look really close, but it looks to me to be about, about yay much, over the 550. Okay, so adding 100 grains, about two inches. Not much. Let's go way up, guys. 700 grains. I built a 700 grain arrow. Ooh, look at that, guys. 
700 grains, 700.2. All right, so people want to say, well, all right, what does a 700 grain arrow do out of a 45 pound boat? We fixing the seat. The show fixing to fly. We are going to see. I love this stuff. It's cool. There you go. Dead on 28 inches. Just like all the rest of them. So before we shoot it, let me recap. We have two 450 grain arrows dead on our mark. Okay? Dead on our mark. We have... A 500 grain air is a 506 actually, right there with them. It's not this far, right there with them. We have a 550 that is right there with them also. I mean, very little. We're going to look and see, but I mean, almost no difference. We went to a 650. This last carbon trad we shot was a full 650. And from what I can tell, we are somewhere around a three to four inch drop. Okay. Not a whole lot, but but there it, there is some drop there. Okay, seven hundred grain air. Okay, probably not in tune. I don't know that it is. I just built that thing and put massive FOC. It shot a little bit to the right. I don't know, and I, and it's cut kind of short. But it weighs seven hundred grains. Regardless, the up and down is going to be the same. It doesn't matter. So as you can see, and we're going to go up here and look at that arrow. It dropped another inch and a half, probably over the last one so guys i like doing this stuff live live uncut like it is just no bull okay you, you're seeing it like it happens we're gonna walk up here right now and we're gonna take a look and we're gonna see just how much we're dealing with with these weights let's go guys Okay, there you have it. Not bad at all. All right, so. All right, guys. So, here, here are our two. 450 grain arrows, okay? Here's a 506. So, same impact. So you could shoot a 450 to a 500 grain arrow, there is no difference. So why would you give up 50 grains of arrow weight with no difference in impact? That wouldn't make sense. Going up 100 grains will cost you at 25 yards. Exactly. One inch to an inch and a quarter maximum an inch and a half and i don't think it's quite that much but a little bit you're going to give up just a little bit going to a 550 it's actually was what 546 grains so still right at 100 grains more and a maximum of an inch and a half now a 650 grain arrow 650 grain arrow from the originals here we are talking four inches Four inch drop at 25 yards going to a 650 grain arrow, okay? 700 grain arrow. If we were to bring this arrow out, bring it straight over, put her in right there. Maybe five to five and a half inches, guys. Maybe, maybe, stick her in there. Maybe, maybe five to five and a half inches total. That's all that is, that's not much, okay? so. Guys, from what I'm seeing here in this test, you can look at it this way. Most people are not going to shoot 25 yards with a traditional bow anyway. If I was shooting 20 yards on this test, there probably would never be more than about two inches difference between any of these arrows, if that. Okay. But even at 25, think about it this way. If the heaviest a 700 grain arrow, only 
cost you four and a half to five inches at 25 yards, shooting 700 grains. That's not a lot. It's not. But when you stay somewhere around that 550, 600 to 650, there's virtually no difference. Virtually no difference at 25 yards. And think about it this way. Most of your shots are 15 yards or less, at least under 20. So you can shoot pretty much whatever you want to shoot, arrow weight wise, whatever you can possibly get to tune to your bow at that distance. And it just does not matter. Okay. You're going to give up some speed, but it also makes for a lot quieter bow, a lot quieter shot. And guys, I'm actually impressed with this because I couldn't do this shooting it manually with you know, with my own arms, I couldn't do that. I had to put it in the hooter shooter to duplicate the exact same shot cycle every time. And, and granted, you can see the right to left, you know, the bow can barely torque in the cradle right to left, but it can't move up and down. Okay. It, it can't. Um, so that's okay. I mean, we, that, that part's okay. We're still getting a 100% accurate, accurate up and down trajectory reading out of this. Um, I'm a thousand percent convinced it is. Uh, you, you couldn't possibly tell me that it wasn't. So guys, I hope this has maybe settled this for you and, and gave you a little bit of insight on the true nature and traje trajectory differences of going up in arrow weight, okay? And I'm not, I'm not advocating that you do that because that may not be, be what you want to do. I'm simply trying to put out a test here to show you the facts, guys. Not opinions, but facts. Uh, physics don't lie okay this is pure physics it is what it is the test just tells you the truth of what you're dealing with at 25 yards with a 45 pound bow shooting exactly 10 grains per pound of draw a 450 grain arrow sighted in dead on going all the way to a 700 grain arrow and giving up roughly five inches or less okay and seeing that a 500 grain arrow makes no difference. 50 grains does not make your arrow drop. 100 grains is no more than an inch. And I mean, it, it, the worst you could fathom would be an inch and a quarter. Okay, almost unnoticeable. And a full 650, 200 additional grain arrow. Go into an arrow that you could have confidence in, a 650 grain arrow, which is this one. You are no more than four inches no more than four inches okay and that's no compensating that because when you shoot instinctive you, you learn your equipment you learn your trajectory you know what your equipment does it's very very easy guys uh you adapt to what air weight you're you're shooting but even if you're an aimer if you're a gap shooter and you're aiming you you still figure out your gaps with different air weights and things of that nature but this shows you that okay Maybe you've been shooting 3D arrows all year and you're building your hunting arrows and, and you want to know, okay, well, how heavy can I really go and not, and it not cost me, my, my, my arrows not just tank, okay? Well, you're not going to be shooting over 25 yards. I typically don't ever, okay? And this shows me that I can build pretty much whatever I want to, whatever I'm happy with, that I feel like is going to hit a deer the very hardest that I can hit it. And I'm not giving up really anything. I mean, it's just not. And if you shoot more pounds than that, you sure run. But on a 45-pound bow, this is what you can expect, guys. So thank you for joining me on Instinctive Addiction Archery. I love you guys so much. And I appreciate you tuning in for this video. And I pray that it has been a help to you guys. I really do. Thank you. Till next time, goodbye.